what's going on guys welcome back to another video and today i'm gonna try my best to build a diy pellet trap <laughs> Right guys, so I haven't been to the hardware store. I've literally just trying with what I've got. I'm just using some pellet wood that I have. So I um, broke down pellet, pallet wood, sorry. Broke down a pallet, so I've got just leftovers. I already built something out of it. The generator box, which you can see there. Um, and this is just what's kind of left over. So we'll see. Um, we'll see what I can do with this. What I've done so far is I've got this bit here. You can see where I've marked it. Put it across the top. This is a concrete slab. That's going to be the backstop of the pellet stop. Pellet trap, sorry. I've put it across here. Marked it. I'm going to cut it. So that's what I want to do is make a U shape around this with sides. So a U shape with roof and sides. That will just go around that. I usually prop it up against the back of the fence up there so shouldn't be a problem i don't actually have a bench so i'll just be cutting from as you can see a ladder with a clamp so um the way the camera's set up it's kind of in the way so i'm gonna try and do this safely So they're the pieces of wood I've cut. That's what I'm talking about. I think I'll put it together like that. Um, and then we'll see what we can do with these scraps of wood right there. So I already did this one. The plan initially was to put two one there and one there but um as you can see wood's cracked yeah, sturdy enough to hold its purpose at the minute anyway so we'll leave it at that see if we can tighten this one a bit more that's completely knackered okay guys that's it at the minute the sides are carpet i'm only going to be shooting um bbs in there so I don't know if that will work, but I'll try it for the top. I already have this, as I said. I didn't go to a hardware store, just use what I already have. So the top, I already have that. Just pop that on there. There you go. Should work. I'm not sure about the sides, but I'll test it out later. See how it goes. Today we're going to test out the DIY pellet trap up there and also get some SOMO off the uh, Glock 17 Gen 4 while they're shooting. So let's go. And here are the results. So the good thing about the pellet trap is it works. I did get one come back at me, not very far. I'm not sure how, let's see if I can figure out. Can you see that there? See the steel BBs all caught inside. There's another one there. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. There's some more 
around here. So it's doing its job. Nothing went through the carpet at the sides, I wasn't sure. So it's doing its job. And the good thing about the roof coming off is it makes it easy to place and remove the target. By not attaching this, it gives it some distance to travel through. And if it does go through, then it should just hit the inside. Look, there you go. And just fall on the other side there. There you go. So it is working. I see a pretty big dent there. I still don't know how something came back at me. I'm not sure, but 20, so 32 shots fired, 32 plus about another 10. So yeah, 42 shots fired and one came back, not very far. It wasn't, it wouldn't, wouldn't ever go into a neighbor's garden. So pellet trap works.